Honorable ministers, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and joy for me to welcome you to this dialogue on malaria and human mobility. Let me set the stage of the brief remarks I want to make by reminding ourselves that we are living in an era of unprecedented human mobility with more people on the move than ever before. In fact, roughly one in every seven persons is a migrant, one billion out of our seven billion world. Uh, and as we prepare for the post-2015 United Nations Development Agenda, it's absolutely imperative that migration be included as part of that agenda. And of course, with migration in the agenda comes also the question of migrant health. Uh, malaria remains a global issue, a major issue. Uh, if we look at the figures, we see that some 3.5 billion people around the world uh, are at risk of malaria at some point. In 2012 alone, 207 million cases were reported worldwide, and 90% of all the deaths that occur from malaria occur in sub-Saharan Africa. So this is a serious issue. And as we discuss the whole impact of migration and mobility on malaria control and elimination, we need to recognize migrants' vulnerability. Migrants and mobile populations are among the most vulnerable people in the world, and we need to recognize that and ensure that they have access to health care. The sheer volume of migration, and I've mentioned already one in every seven persons, underlines the global significance of the health of people moving within borders and across borders. The World Health Assembly in 2008 recognized the vulnerability of migrants to malaria and other diseases when they adopted Resolution 61.17 uh, on the health of migrants. And let me quote from that. Uh, they call on member states, quote, to promote migrant sensitive health policies and equitable access to health promotion and care for migrants, unquote. So effective malaria control and elimination has to include migration issues uh, if we are to be true to the principle of health equity and the right to health for all. Uh, we in, at the International Organization for Migration stand ready to assist member states, to support member states, to be a partner with member states, to find innovative uh, and uh, sustainable interventions. Interventions that we think will ensure that migration and malaria control are integrated into national, regional, and local uh, health policies, strategies, and programs. Honorable ministers, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, malaria is preventable, it is treatable, but the reality is that at the moment, vigilance is required because malaria remains a fatal disease that neither knows nor respects borders. Let me in closing wish you all fruitful deliberations.